very feminine. How does Google love thee? Let me count the ways. And forget the iPad mini, wait until you see the tiny galaxy. I'm John P. Geekbeat starts now. Today's episode of Geekbeat is brought to you by Netflix. How'd you like to be able to whip out the old credit card and charge a billion plus dollars whenever you see something you'd like to buy? That's what Google just did to hook up with Waze, only they paid cash. So why would Google want to buy the crowdsourced traffic and mapping company? First, there's access to real-time data from 50 million users. And if anyone knows how to turn data into dollars, it's Google. Second, there's the benefit to mashing up all of that data into Google Maps to stay ahead of, well, just about everybody. That giant groaning sound you're hearing is likely coming from Navtech, TomTom, Tom, and other GPS manufacturers. Waze had been talking to other suitors, including Facebook, but in the end, Google won them over with a huge pile of cash, plus the promise to let the Waze team stay in Israel instead of relocating to Silicon Valley. To Apple land we go, where iOS 7 promises a new feature called Activation Lock, which will require an Apple ID and password before an iPhone or iPad can be wiped of data for resale, or before Find My iPhone can be turned off. It's a pretty cool idea. Mm -hmm. Now that the newness of the iPad mini has worn off, it was inevitable that we'd receive word of the Micro Galaxy. No, not the one in the first Men in Black movie, but close. And no, not the micro galaxy from Samsung. Instead, researchers at Hawaii's Mount Keck Observatory have announced the discovery of SEG2, the smallest known actual galaxy yet. How small? Well, the entire Milky Way galaxy is 20 billion times brighter than our sun. But SEG2? only 900 times brighter. Astronomers say all the dark matter in this surprise discovery deserves the credit. Speaking of dark subject matter, have y'all been watching the new season of Arrested Development on Netflix? You do know the show is back, right? At this rate, Netflix could easily become one of the best premium channels anywhere. And now is the time for you to jump on the Netflix bandwagon. They'll give you access to all the streaming movies and TV series you could possibly handle for eight bucks a month, Dave. Yeah! Not only have they brought us back to the socially awkward world of the Bluth family, they've also given us the monster drama Hemlock Grove and the critically acclaimed House of Cards, starring Kevin Spacey. Spacey is awesome. You know, Dave, if I wasn't married and if I was a woman, and let's say Kevin Spacey lived around here and I was at the grocery store, Visit netflix.com forward slash geekbeat right now and get 30 days free. Watch it on your TV, laptop, tablet, phone, or whatever. And tweet me and tell me if you're watching something awesome. But only if it's awesome. I need more new stuff to watch now that I'm done with Supernatural. You know, Dave, Kevin Spacey rules. I rule. Finally, a tip of the hat to the Chinese who have just sent their fifth manned mission into space. A crew of three, one of them a woman, is aboard the Shizu-10, which blasted into orbit Tuesday from a launch site in the Gobi Desert. I didn't even know the Gobi Desert was in China, Dave. China has a shiny new space lab forward slash station for eventual use by its astronauts. This week's mission should allow the Chinese to practice their docking skills. Callie's gonna hate it when she hears me say forward slash. I'm John P, and it's time to go light something on fire. You shall not pass! You shall not pass!